everybody. Hi, everybody. It's Life on Earth with Larissa. I am Larissa. Thanks again for joining me. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you pause, go hit the subscribe button, and come right back to this video. Thank you. I appreciate it. I am about to introduce a series of videos that I'm going to be having, um, and they're all relating to health. So they're Today, all I'm, uh, I'm actually, uh, I got a dentist uh, visit, so I got a dentist visit, and I'm taking you along. All right, here I am in the waiting room at the my dentist's office and there's the dentist chair <laughs> all right so um yep this is the dentist office. look at this you see this a uh, mirror it's in the shape of a tooth did you notice that i i like those little quirky things i guess people call them quirky but i like those little things they're just cute to look at look at this it's a giant tooth yes a giant model tooth um I'm sure it's used for educational purposes, but those things are just so neat to look at. I like to look at those things. Okay, so the first thing they want us to do is to rinse our mouth out. And um, I think it's a hydrogen peroxide and mouthwash mix and just to kill, kill those germs that might be lurking in our mouth before they begin um the dental process so yeah so there i am getting uh comfortable and i i know you all are probably looking at my hat but i like to wear my hat on different visits um because i don't like my hair touching uh the back of uh places where i might sit or lay so that there that is Lene is my hygienist for the day and so this is Lene and she's uh she's gonna be taking care of my teeth and um yes so um and so she's giving me advice on brushing brushing and and the flossing process so all right it is time to get these teeth clean so if you've ever been to the dentist which most of you have one of the first things that they do is chart your teeth so they'll go by and see uh, touch every tooth to see um, how far it's separated from from your gums if that makes any sense um, because our gums are supposed to uh, help hold our teeth in place and I don't know why the Lord gave us gums but they they're supposed to help and protect our teeth some kind of way so I know they have to go through and and chart our teeth and and they're like yelling out numbers one two three one 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 two three four that kind of thing um, and I think that has something to do with um, with your um, how how tight your gums are to your teeth, if that makes any sense. But, um, let's see. And then they begin the process of going by and and just uh, scraping. I think like uh, any plaque or anything off of of your teeth. I normally go to the dentist. Uh, twice a year um, I think it might have been delayed during COVID but I normally go twice a year um, um, yeah
in here, uh, the hygienist is beginning to uh, polish my teeth or yeah, I guess they, I think they call it polishing. So normally you, we use toothpaste and they use a form of paste to polish and they have the different flavors and things like that. And I've tried flavors and y'all, yeah, I just like mint. I just stick with the mint flavor, nice, clean, fresh mint. I've tried like bubble gum and maybe another flavor, but mint just works for me. All right, so here we are all done. She's adding a little Vaseline to my lips so they wouldn't be dry and cracky, and I'm good to go. <laughs> good to go. So um, the cleaning process went very well. My, t my whole visit, I think it was like an hour, um, maybe an hour and a little bit, but I am thoroughly these with my teeth I like to uh, yeah hello y'all hello <laughs> all right so here Lene is the hygienist is going over the health of my teeth and she's pointing uh, she's showing me the correct way to floss and why uh, we need to floss and she was explaining to me uh, that uh, you you kind of have to put the flosser in between your teeth and move up and down so it's like you're you're scraping things off the sides of your teeth since your toothbrush can't get in those tight fit areas that's why we use the floss to go in and scrape the sides of our teeth so I think I've been doing it wrong not wrong but my main purpose for flossing was to make sure stuff wasn't stuck in my teeth and she's saying you're supposed to use the flosser to clean the sides of our teeth. So I'm showing these, um, I'm showing these uh, skeletals and the teeth attached because of what Lene was explaining to me. And she said that when bacteria is not removed, it accumulates and it can accumulate and cause an infection in your gums which the first stage is gingivitis. And gingivitis is when there's bleeding and swelling in your gums. If you continue not to floss, the bacteria will grow deeper into your gum tissue and uh, in the bone area around your tooth, which is the foundation of what's holding your teeth in place. And if you destroy the foundation, it's not good for your tooth at all because then they can easily fall out. She's saying our teeth should outlive us. That's why they're normally attached to uh, skulls and things like that. They should outlive us. It's not good for us to have uh, really nice teeth, um, but then the foundation is being destroyed because eventually you, you'll lose those teeth. And she said it's kind of like building a big pretty house on sand. Sand is not a good foundation. I mean, yes, so sand is not a good foundation because eventually everything will crumble and come uh, and it'll, it'll, it'll crash down and be destroyed. She's saying the floss needs to go along the side of this tooth to scrape the side of the tooth so you're kind of cleaning it. She said brushing and flossing go hand in hand like water and soap. If you don't use water to clean your body, you're not getting thoroughly clean. But if you, um, yeah, you're not getting thoroughly clean, but it's so if you only brush your teeth and you're not flossing, your teeth are not being thoroughly clean. And you have to make sure you clean um, the exposed sur surface of your entire tooth into your gum so that the bottom portions of your teeth, um, you wanna make sure you can clean those areas too because those areas are not being reached by your toothbrush so she said our teeth should um, um, outlast us they should stay around for thousands of years um, after the rest of our body is gone our bones and teeth uh, should stay intact forever for centuries she said if someone found our skeleton um, 
after thousands of years, they should be able to see our teeth and say, wow, they really had nice teeth. Uh, Lene was very informative and educational, and I'm thinking, wow, thousands of years. And the recommendation is to brush your teeth for two minutes at least twice a day and floss at least once a day. Look at this, y'all. My teeth look good. I have to do a better job at flossing, but my teeth look good. Amen for that. So this is the goodie bag that they normally give you when you go to the dentist. There's my floss. I'm going to look at floss a different way. I don't know. How about you? Um... So they give you floss, then they also give you a toothbrush. I like to donate the toothbrush um, and the toothpaste because I like to, to use my um, automatic toothbrush. And I do like, I'm uh, privy, like I would prefer to use Crest products. I don't know about you, but I like my Crest toothpaste. I like my Crest mouthwash. So here's Lene again. Uh, showing me how to properly get in there and floss right. I do a good brush, but I need to work on my flossing. Comment below if you do too. So this concludes my visit to the dentist. Um, teeth are nice and fresh and white. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to keep flossing brushing, flossing, keeping it fresh, all of that, all of that, brushing, flossing, keeping it fresh. Um, so this has been Life on Earth with Larissa. I thank you again for joining me and I will see you next time.